Governor Dick Orada, who just clocked 100 days since his inauguration on May 29, said he has laid a solid foundation with all the reforms introduced to the state. Among them is the issue of security, where 19 out of the 34 local government areas are currently under terrorist attack. The government approved 7 billion naira for the procurement of new armored personnel carriers and other sophisticated equipment. My administration has expanded over 7 billion naira to procure armored personnel carriers, 65 Hilux vehicles, 700 motorcycles, provide training for the community watch corps officers and other security equipment and majors I cannot disclose in this address. He added that to ensure the terrorists are ruthlessly dealt with, rather root out any form of negotiation with them, saying the renewed attacks would only make the government stronger and more focused. With the state government recruiting and training 1,500 youths under its community watch corps, to work with the security agencies to tackle security challenges in frontline local government areas of the state, the governor declared that his administration will never pay ransom for the release of abducted victims. The issue of payment of ransom to rescue some of the kidnapped victims is out of question for the government of Kutna State. Because if we start to pay ransom, we don't know how many people will be kidnapped, maybe including you. They will all kidnap all of us. Because the state will pay ransom for. As part of efforts to make security his administration's top priority, the creation of the Ministry of Internal Security and Casino State Community Watch Corps was the beginning of the end to terrorism in the state.